love to show you an African design inspired by the dots and stripes you learned in a previous video. As a base I applied Brisa Light and one layer of cream puff. Now I will be applying the second layer of cream puff. Apply the cream puff on the entire nail and be sure you won't be applying it too thickly, otherwise it will bubble in the UV lamp. Remove existing shellac from skin before going into the UV lamp and cure for two minutes. We will be painting with additives this time. The basic yellow and the detailer brush just make some spots randomly over the nail with yellow, but just a few spots, not the entire nail. The basic red, be creative and just place them on several places over the entire nail. Deep blue, you're just painting with additives, as you can see. Tapping and brushing the additives into the sticky layer. The basic blue. Just making areas of different colors into the sticky layer of the cream puff. Burning Ember, sort of copper additive with nice sparkles in it. The inten intention of painting with the additives is just letting the cream puff disappear. I don't want to see any white spots anymore. Gilded Clean, just colored spots and stripes and dots, whatever you want. Just brush them in. And of course you can pick your own colors of additives. Antique bronze gives a nice glitter and a nice sparkle to the nail. And you can see no more white, just colors, a lot of colors. Because of the cream puff the color will see brighter, will look brighter. Clean your brush with isopropyl alcohol Take a dry brush to remove the existing additives from the skin. And now we'll be starting to paint with black pool. Put some black pool on the glossy side of a photo paper. Take a striper brush and make a design with the stripes and dots you learned in a previous video. Just let it flow. For this design I have been inspired by the Maasai. If you want some inspiration just google Maasai and you will see a lot of beautiful patterns and that's what made me think about this design. Be sure that every finger has a different design. Fill in some lines with black so you can get black spots, make some dots with your pencil. So you can see it's a funny and bright design. Make some curls also and if you want to make a curl for the first time you can practice on a piece of paper. Take your dotting tool to make some bigger spots with the bigger dotting tool and little spots with the little dotting tool. Stripes and you can see it's a beautiful design. The thumb is going to be black and white. I just wanted to show you that this pattern is beautiful in other colors and I just wanted to show you that it's in black and white. It's also beautiful and very different. Again fill in the stripes, dots and for this time I chose for less is more so I won't be filling in as much as stripes and dots as we did on the colorful design. Just let your imagination flow. And remember it's shellac, so if you make a mistake you can remove it with isopropyl alcohol and start again. This layer will be cured for two minutes in the UV lamp and now we'll be highlighting the design with cream puff. Again put some cream puff on the top film of a photo paper, the glossy side. Take a dotting tool and place some spots in your design. And as you can see it highlights the design. Here also less is more. 
it's just a highlight. So a few white dots and there's depth in your design. Cure for two minutes and seal the entire design with CND shellac top coat. And look at those bright colors. Be sure to seal the top and the side walls, not into the skin, but the side, side wall of the nail. Seal the entire design. If there's some residue on the skin, remove it with the orange wood stick, the thumb also. And you can see the difference in pattern when you take different colors. Cure for two minutes in the UV lamp and remove the top film with isopropyl alcohol. When you remove the top film, you will also be removing the existing additives on the skin. Now, add your surface with solar oil in the cuticle area and sensations lotion on the entire skin. Just look at this result in black and white and in full color. Be sure to, to share your designs with me on YouTube and Facebook and I will see you next time. Enjoy your African design.